memes if you were in my memes box in real stuff. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I uh, just got, I just broke my arm getting in here. I, oh, 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 it's broken. Everyone, it's broken. It's just totally wrecked up. Um, anyways, I, I, I fell. It's a little hard to get my goosebumps, because, uh, my room's changed a little bit. No, nothing with the goosebumps. Oh, uh, no goosebumps. No, no goosebumps. Besides VHS. Watch my other video. This is my very last video, but let's get to the point, because I don't have a long time. I have to go do this quickly. <sighs> New Goosebumps Swappy World book. Feathers. Well, now called Night of the Squad. I'm still used to the feathers. I. It has a cover. And it is top fucking tier. And. Now, you, you look at this book and you're like, okay, this is like, oh. This is like My Giant Everything. Um, Chicken Chicken 2. And let me tell you, this is Chicken Chicken Extreme. Because this cover art is. Now, my personal favorite of Brandon Dorman. This is my all-time favorite Brandon Dorman concept art. Or, I mean, Goosebumps cover art. Take a look at this. It took me a long time to analyze this to figure out what was actually going on. Like, is this a light show? Or is he a fucking hair balloon? Now, this is just beautiful. Night of the Squawker. You can see the mutant bird. So go ahead and take some screenshots, go on the wiki if you want to see this for yourself. And I had thought I'd point out, because this is a little complex cover. As you can see, there's change, there's a sign, and there's a bunch of sparks, because those are actually sparks. Fun fact. And her looks like something out of Stranger Things. I, I don't, I haven't watched Stranger Things. Um, um, how about something out of Evolution? Y'all know that movie? I, I should stop saying that shit. Anyway, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, that is Night of the Squawker's cover. Don't zoom in on that. Okay, so what exactly here is so special that I need to point out? Because I was uh, baiting if I should make a video about this, but of course I do it. This one new, we just gotta keep them up. Since a lot of my videos have been about this book due to the child changes and the cover changes. Or, I mean, the new cover, of course. But... This is my first video on this now, so let's get started in analyzing this. So as you can see, there's sparks everywhere behind the bird. If you didn't notice, the bird is actually ripping through a metal fence. This is actually metal fence grating or gating. You have those here in America. I don't know if y'all have them anywhere else, suckers. I'm just joking, you probably do. <laughs> probably in every country for all I know. But anyways, uh... There's actually chains on the fence, which is actually holding up a sign, I'm assuming, or the bird. Um, quick, can we just get a zoom in on that bird? It looks like some sort of pterodactyl, like, holy crap. Zoom in on that bird. It's a beautiful face. Look at the amount of detail. That's the bird. That's our villain. Holy shit. Like, that's, that's incredibly creepy. This is actually gave me goosebumps when I saw this. Okay, so what exactly is happening here? Ripping through a metal fence. There's sparks going everywhere due to a fence breaking on impact. There's change, I think, holding up the stein, saying experiment area, which is similar to Night of the Giant Everything. The title itself is similar. Night of the Squawker, Night of the Giant Everything. Night of the Giant Everything is a Goosebumps Hall of Horse book. I think it was number two or three. Number three, I'm positive. I've been two. I don't know anymore, guys. <laughs> um, anyways. So, what's so special about ripping through a gate? Well, it's an experimental area. As you can see, right there, zooming on the sign. Experimental area. Sorry for the computer, guys. This is my school computer. I do not have anything else to show you with this. So, yeah. Experimental area. Description has not changed yet. I will do a video if that does, because I'm still to think, like, is the description going to change? 
now we're getting into experimental area. Like, is this some sort of acid lake they were going fishing in or what? Like, what the hell? I am just excited to actually read this book now. If it has something to do with experiments or just, you know, men warming them like, oh, yeah, let's make it like, oh, tech and shit. Oh, no. Uh oh, experimental area. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, uh, just had a beast bird coming out. A gay with sparks. Yeah. Honestly. This is my personal new favorite, um, Brandon Norman, and I actually just can't over can't get over how awesome this is. See how in the fucking next one, pizza. Uh, I mean, uh, bye.